Hope y'all are doing good. So find me a pointer here. Hang on just a minute. Alright. This is the Savage 110 Long Range Hunter. I'm going to start right out here. It's got the adjustable brake on it. It's got a 26 inch barrel. It's one at eight twist. The overall length of the whole gun is 46 point or 46 and a quarter. The barrel type is just a button rifle barrel. The naked gun itself, like I said, it weighs 8.05 pounds. It does have adjustable trigger in it. Uh, like I said, this is the adjustable accu trigger. Pretty easy. I'll show you all that later. And the one thing about this, whenever we get a little bit further in this video, this stock is one of the, it's the AccuFit, and this thing is, it comes with so many different things. We can, you can actually make this gun to fit whoever's shooting, basically like a custom rifle. In the box from the factory, you're gonna have all different kinds of stuff. These are spacers, like I said, that you can put in your butt pad, get your Set it up however you want to. Here's your cheap piece right here. You can go up, like I said, as high as you want to. It's pretty, it's pretty well all the way around. A kind of a custom fit barrel or rifle. I'm sorry, but uh, but it was just I just used the base, the zero MOA, like I said, the just the regular Weaver style. I didn't want MO, no MOA on my base right now. We've got the, I've got the higher range and I've, I've got a, <coughs> excuse me, and I've got a ton, like I said, of adjustment already built into the scope and I've, all, I've got a whole lot of adjustment, you know, as far as dialing too, so. One thing, like I said, that I did, I just went with the regular factory one. Just kind of built my scope and everything around that. That way, every time I get ready to clean it, I don't have to go through and mess around with one of these and taking them on and off or adjusting them or anything else. Then we've got the... Uh, All right, now this we definitely got to keep. This is to adjust your trigger. You will see here in a little bit. I do need to adjust mine a little bit. There are some air pluggies. You got a Savage sticker and your regular warranty papers. Just just your basic paper stuff. Some literature. It comes in the box. It everything it is. It's box really nice. FedEx sucks. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because when I got mine, the whole corner of the box was busted out of it, and I never bought anything from Savage. I mean, that was that was like that. So. Like I said, yeah, the, I, it was so bad, I didn't even, it, I was afraid. I didn't want to kind of cross-reference doing something on a Savage video and then talking about how crappy it come in the box because, I mean, I, I sure didn't want Savage, you know, to have to take the lick for it. Wife, she used to work at FedEx, so I know how a bunch of this stuff gets treated. But yeah, the whole corner of my box is pretty well tore up. <clears throat> Let me get some of this other stuff out of the way. I'll show you kind of some of the factory ammo I started with. 
kind of right out of the box like i said what kind of accuracy i got but it's i'm not even gonna take these out because uh i mean i, I don't need them and i don't want to be having to remove a whole bunch of stuff just to get a cleaning rod down in my rifle every time i get ready to clean it let me get some of this moved out of the way guys and i'll be right back the uh, 130 grain ELD match, this is just bone stock, factory gun, right out of the box. Like I said, factory ammo, I, I haven't done anything with it. This is my, after a amount of my scope, this is my first shot. And this is my second one right here. Whoop. And then I moved down just a little bit. <clears throat> I didn't want it. Like I said, that would be just one MOA. I want it roughly about two MOA for a lot of the stuff. Like I said, the way that I shoot, there's three bullet holes right there in that. And if you look at this target, you'll see something that's running pretty consistent and, and it's not the gun i can tell you who it is it's the guy talking to you after i've done these three i shot these three barrels starting to get hot these are still 130s <clears throat> then i tried some of the 140 factory and you know th this is what i got i know we can tweak that and make it better with some reload for what this gun i want it for the 135 burgers is probably going to be my best option another good thing like i said that i like about this particular model right here you can go all the way back in safety and that bolt completely locks now you can go halfway your safety still on you can lock it of course, if you go all the way up, you're going to be able to fire it. Then you can come all the way back. I like that. If I got it slung and I'm running around or something, that bolt, there's no way that bolt is going to come unlocked. So I think that's that's a really good idea that they did come up with that. And I'm going to show you all how to take the bolt out of it. This is something I wish they would have done a little different. See this button right here? You have to kind of push this button, squeeze the trigger and push the button and then your bolt will come out. I wish they would have done that a little different, but and it's kind of the same way going back in. It's just, you have to not be a I like the push, but it's not that bad once you get used to it. If you pull your trigger back and squeeze this, if I can get it where y'all can see it. If you'll just pull your trigger, pull this back, bolt will come right out. Then we go right back in. Other than that, like I said, that's, I, I really like it. I really like this bolt lock part. And you can rack around with it on safety. Three position safety, I think all of them should have it. We've got enough to work with, but if there's any questions, leave them in the comments, guys. All right, God bless you.